In this video, we'll go over the answer to question 20 of the 2021 New South Wales HSC chemistry exam. The question states, the trimethylammonium ion is a weak acid. The acid dissociation equation is shown. This is followed by the reversible reaction together with the acid dissociation constant or Ka value. Then the question continues, at 20 degrees Celsius, a saturated solution of trimethylammonium chloride has a pH of 4.46. What is the KSP of trimethylammonium chloride? This is then followed by the four values between 1.26 times 10 to the negative 9 to 5.01 times 10 to the 10 as options A through D. First, let's make some room on the slide to carry out the calculation. With any calculation like this, I would always start with clearly listing out what information is provided in the question, even if not all of it is used. So the question is asking us for the KSP or solubility product, which is the equilibrium constant for the reversible reaction that occurs between a solid and its ions in a saturated aqueous solution. Therefore, the expression for the solubility product for trimethylammonium chloride is just the concentration of the ions multiplied together. We can see that the Ka or acid dissociation constant and pH or power of hydrogen values are both given. The full expression for the Ka is as shown here, based on the reversible reaction provided in the question. And the value is 1.55 times 10 to the negative 10. The pH formula is negative log base 10 of the hydronium ion concentration, and the value provided is 4.46. So we need to rearrange the variables in these equations in order to get the value we are interested in. Let's assign the trimethylammonium ion concentration as X. This enables us to say that the KSP value is just x squared. We can write this because when the solid dissolves, the same amount of chloride and trimethylammonium ions are produced. There is a one-to-one -one ratio. We can do something similar for the hydronium ions as well. If we set the hydronium ion concentration to y, then Ka can be written as y squared on x. We can write this because the same amount of hydronium and trimethylamine are produced. Therefore, the numerator in the equation becomes y squared and x in the denominator is just based on the previous substitution, the trimethylammonium ion concentration. We can now use the formula for pH and substitute in the y variable. Rearranging, we get this. As we have a value for the pH, y is now a concrete number. We can do something similar with the Ka formula as we have a concrete value for that as well. We rearrange to make x the subject and now the right hand side only contains variables which we have values for. We can even plug in the expression for y that we just determined above to show how we can just substitute the pH and Ka values that were provided in the question in order to get x. And as the solubility product is just x squared, we can now substitute in the x value we determined and then the values associated with the pH and Ka. At this point, we have something to put into our calculator. Doing so, we get 60.16. This rounds to 60.2 and means that option C is the answer. To get a better understanding of the steps on the previous slide, let's visualize the scenario we're dealing with and expand upon the reasoning for each of the calculation steps. Firstly, we were asked to determine the KSP of the solubility product. The KSP is the equilibrium constant for the dissolution of a solid to a saturated solution of its ions. In this case, the equation for the dissolution of the trimethylammonium chloride is... To get a better understanding, it is good to visualize what is happening here. We have, for example, a beaker of water and the solid is placed within it. This was a saturated solution. That would mean the solution would have the maximum amount of trimethylammonium and chloride ions that the water could handle. At equilibrium, the rate at which the ions are going from the solid to the aqueous state would be equal to the rate at which the ions are being deposited again from the aqueous state back to a solid. This is what we are expressing with this reversible reaction equation, assuming it is at equilibrium. Now, to write out the KSP, we remember that any equilibrium constant is just the concentration of the products all multiplied divided by the concentration of the reactants all multiplied. In this case, the KSP is equal to. Important to note is that we did not include the trimethylammonium chloride, i.e. the reactant in this expression. This is because in any equilibrium expression, we do not include any pure liquid or solid. And in this case, the trimethylammonium chloride is a solid. Just as we did on the previous slide, we can use features of the dissolution equation to simplify the expression and make it solvable. 
Firstly, we note that the trimethylammonium ion and chloride ion are in a one-to-one -one ratio. This means that when one mole of trimethylammonium chloride dissolves, it produces one mole of each ion. If we set the concentration of the trimethylammonium ion as X, this means that the chloride ion concentration is also X. And therefore, the solubility product is just X squared. But we set the concentration to X. Why do we consider only moles? This is because the volume is constant and only the number of moles will affect the concentration. After the salt has dissolved, another reaction occurs with one of the products. Specifically, the trimethylammonium ion reacts with water, producing an excess of hydronium ions and therefore an acidic solution of pH equal to 4.46. The equation for this was given in the question itself, as we see here. Just as before, we can write the equilibrium constant for this irreversible reaction, which in this case is the acid dissociation constant Ka. Again, we seem to be missing one of the products. In this case, there is no H2O in the expression. And just as before, this is because solids and liquids are not included in any equilibrium constant expression. The question itself also gives us the value for the acid dissociation constant for the trimethylammonium ion, which is 1.55 times 10 to the negative 10. We can use features of the acid dissociation equation in order to simplify. The hydronium and trimethylamine are in a one-to-one -one ratio with respect to themselves and the trimethylammonium ion. Therefore, if one mole of hydronium is produced, then one mole of trimethylamine is also produced. If we set the concentration of the hydronium ions as variable y, then that means the concentration of the trimethylamine is also equal to y. This means we can rewrite the expression for Ka as y squared on x. Now that we have our expression for Ksp and Ka, we just need to use the equation for pH to determine a final answer. The equation for the pH can be found on the formula sheet, which is the pH is equal to the negative log base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. Of course, the hydrogen ion is another way to write out the hydronium ion, so we can just say it's equal to negative log base 10 of the hydronium ion concentration. Making our substitution of variable y into the equation, we can show how this leads to a concrete value for y. First, we can move the negative to the other side, then take both sides to the power of 10. Now for the right hand side, this will eliminate the log base 10, leaving us only with y on that side. We can obviously also write this with y on the left hand side instead. Therefore, y is equal to 10 to the power of negative 4.46, or after plugging into our calculator, 3.467 times 10 to the negative 5. We can also find a concrete expression for x by using the values we have for y and ka. From the previous slide, we know that ka is just y squared on x. And from the question itself, we know that ka is equal to 1.55 times 10 to the negative 10. Therefore, from this, we can rearrange to find a value for x. Starting with the equation, we can multiply both sides by x. This eliminates x from the right-hand side, leaving us with... Next, we can divide each side by Ka, which in this case eliminates Ka from the left-hand side, and leaves us with this. An expression for x with respect to y and Ka, which we have values for. Specifically, 3.467 times 10 to the negative 5 squared, divided by 1.55 times 10 to the negative 10, which after plugging into the calculator gives 7.7565. We've kept a few more decimal places than needed here. Now, we remember from the previous slide that the Ksp value is just x squared. Therefore, we can plug in the value we just determined, square it, and get 60.163, which rounded to one decimal place is 60.2, and therefore means that option C is our final answer. For this video, the following references were used. Shell and Hogan have a great section on saturated solutions and Ksp, which includes a number of good examples of the types of questions you may see in the HSC exam. Blackman et al. goes into quite a bit of depth on the solubility product and also includes some good step-by-step -step examples of questions around this concept. There is also a good section on the calculation of pH in solutions of weak acids and bases, which is a little beyond the scope of this question, but a good extension of the kind of question we dealt with here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.